all right guys welcome back to the channel now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to re-index your torsion bars so this doesn't happen to you it's perfect timing because i know this has been happening to a lot of people lately and uh it just happened to my dad's so uh i'm gonna fix it for him i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean so a lot of people don't know this but uh what torsion bars are it's these guys right here and they're connected to your lower control arm and they're essentially your coil spring on a mini truck and most uh, full-size trucks and uh, that's kind of what controls your right height so these right here are your torsion bar keys and this is what holds tension on the torsion bars by being held up there now with 720s the lower you go the more that these hang down and that's also if you are lower adjusting your right height with torsion bars these will hang down lower obviously if your truck's really low and these are hanging down you're going to rip them off just like this guy over here so i'm not too sure what my dad drove through or what the heck he was doing but yeah he damn near ripped that one off but i ripped those off on mine um pretty much like that maybe a little bit worse and i had to drive about an hour home and i pretty much scraped them off and they're still good so uh, i think i should be able to save that one but what we're going to be doing today is essentially pulling out our torsion bar up there and twisting it so that these can tuck up higher and they don't get caught on anything. Still blows my mind that my dad is 46 years old and he's over here doing this kind of hood rat stuff with his little truck, static and ripping stuff off. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, look at his cross member, all banged up. So on our passenger side, we're gonna want to pull the torsion bar out and turn it clockwise. That way this little guy goes up more. On the driver's side, we're gonna wanna go counterclockwise. So we're gonna twist it that way. First thing I'm gonna do is clean over here a little bit of grease and gunk. That way we can mark where the torsion bar is sitting right now. That way we're not guessing when we put it back together. Next up, you wanna get yourself a silver Sharpie. You don't have to have a silver one. You can use a black one, but it's easier to see with a silver one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark right here, just a little line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but something so that we can reference back to where, where we were originally at. You wanna follow your torsion bar over here to where there is this snap ring right there. It might be hard to guess, you might have to turn it um, once you turn it, you could use two flathead screwdrivers to hit it on both sides and it should pop out. Be careful because that thing will go flying. There is a lot of tension on it, so make sure you uh, see where it goes. But this is right in front of the cross member where your torsion bar keys are at. So this is the end of it and it's right in there. So that way you guys can find it a little easier. All right, so once you have this C-clip that goes over here out, you can wiggle it out. If it won't wiggle out, because sometimes they won't, you're gonna have to remove these two 17 millimeter bolts and remove that whole little bracket in order to get those splines to come out. If it's in this case, you just wiggle it and it should slide back and out. Just like that. So now that you see where we marked it, now you wanna, that's where it was at. So we're gonna want to go about a tooth over, maybe two clockwise, something like that. But since my dead truck is really low, we're gonna go two teeth. That way they are tucked super high. Once again, just to show you guys what we're doing, you can see our marks are lined up over there and this is how low it's hanging. It's lowing, it's hanging past this bar right here. So that's why they get ripped off. So what we're gonna do, is just gonna wiggle it, try to slide it out towards the back of the truck like that and then we come back over here and put it back in but this time we're gonna turn it clockwise two splines over and then we're gonna put it back in but now you can see it's tucked up a lot higher and it's not hanging past the bottom but since my dead truck is really low we're gonna do two teeth so we're gonna pull this back out go one more tooth over 
put it back in and there you go you can see it's tucked up really really high now so uh, one thing to mention is when you guys see them like this try not to make them flush with the bottom like you guys just saw when i did it with one tooth because when the wheel or the suspension compresses this is going to get pulled down so right now you can see how high it is i'm pretty sure that when this truck goes back on the ground and the suspension settles this is going to be damn near flush with this bar right here you also can't go super high because then you won't be able to put your torsion bar bolts back in since it's kind of defeating the whole entire purpose you can see the bolt comes over here but if your bar is super high up here you're never going to get it on so what we're gonna have to do is put this back into its place, let the truck drop completely bottom out, and then we'll be able to jack it back up and put these into this little groove where they should. So you guys can see the difference right away. Uh, the truck has both wheels drooping all the way. So this is pretty much uh, the same ride height. And you can see this one is hanging down way lower. Obviously that's why it got ripped off like that. And this one, nice and tucked. Uh, but when you do this, you are going to have to readjust your ride height. What I mean by that, is these bolts right here you're gonna have to re-thread them back down over here so uh yeah so if you had your truck super slammed and you had the bolts pretty much all the way backed out like this you're gonna have to thread them all the way down here and you're gonna have this big piece of thread sticking out through the top which you could cut off or you could just leave it there it doesn't really matter if you have them up there uh yeah so you can see the big difference and this is why i highly recommend you guys do this you want to make sure that you put your retaining clip back in because if you don't put this in, then your torsion bar will pretty much fall out and your truck will bottom out. But yeah, this, I usually just put it in like this and then I'll hammer it in to get started. And there you go. Now that you have your clip back in, the torsion bar itself can't pull out back that way because it'll get caught on this lip right here. It's going to be pretty much the same thing on the driver's side, just a little bit harder since it is all mangled up. And we're going to have to straighten this thing back out because, yeah, that's pretty gnarly. I'm probably going to fix it in today's video. Just bend it back into place, but I'm probably going to, go to, probably going to go to the junkyard and get a new replacement for that because that thing's seen some better days. Driver's side is a little bit harder, though, since the exhaust is right here and the C-clip is right in there. So it makes it a little bit more of a challenge to try to get the C-clip off but uh, just a little bit more time. But if you can get the, get it off, then you'll be all good. Now I know I showed this, but I didn't mention how to remove it. So you're gonna want to get two flathead screwdrivers, put it on each side and put pressure with both. That way it opens up and pushes back. Cause if you only hit one side, it's just going to spin. Now this one, it was the opening gap was on the top. So I had to reach my hand above this cross member through up here. And then I had to hammer it and twist it until the opening is in the bottom. That way I could smack it up and it could pop out. Same thing on this side. I want to make sure that you clean it really good. Get rid of all the grease or whatever is on there. And then mark your line. That way you know you have a reference point. Sometimes just the rear portion will come out. So you have to pay attention to that. Because right now the rear portion is coming out. But not the front half which is the actual torsion bar. All right, so sometimes if it doesn't want to come out on its own, you can just smack it and it'll come off. All right, so in order to bend these, this one, you can just smack with the hammer and you should be able to bend it back in. However, this one, you can't really get to it with the hammer in here. So what we're going to do is get some pliers right here and bend it back in. This isn't really thick metal, so it's fairly easy to bend back. So now we just put it back in, put our C-clip in there, this little guy, in that little groove. Make sure that uh, that's all good over there and we're not back in the same spot where we were at before. Put your C-clip back in and then we're all good to put it back together. Now, since these torsion bars are super high, these uh, bolts are just gonna be hanging here for now since we have them adjusted all the way out, um, since that's what the truck was at. But uh, now we're just gonna put these in here and we're going to 
for now i'm just gonna let it drop like this I'm gonna let the suspension settle all the way that way these come down a little bit and then we're gonna adjust our right height again with these torsion bars uh, with these bolts so essentially what we're gonna do is pretty much tighten them but i don't want to tighten them yet until i put the truck on the ground you can see how low the truck is right now pretty much where it was at before um pretty much bottomed out on the bump stops but you can see right here uh we have you can see that the bolts are just hanging that's where the adjustment was before you can see where the torsion bar keys are at now uh they're way up there and tucked that's where the keys used to be so you can see the big difference now they're all nice and tucked up there all we have to do is uh, tighten up those bolts to give some tension that way we're not sitting on the bump stop we could lift it up a little and it's actually riding on the torsion bar and now i get this question asked a lot how do you guys drive these trucks with 15 by 10s doesn't it super bumpy the question is yes it is but if you're using the torsion bar for the most part and you're barely sitting on the bump stop the torsion bar is still doing most of the work and the bump stop is just there so you don't completely bottom all the way out and it's not a super soft ride and that's the key for running 15 by 10s on 720 i know i get this question asked a lot um, and there's people who will completely loosen their torsion bar keys their torsion bars are technically not even working and they're just sitting on bump stops and they hate the way it rides because the bump stop is literally what you're riding on so this way it's way better because you're actually riding on the torsion bar and the bump stop is just there so it's not a super super soft ride i know one problem that i've seen people have is they will set their ride height or whatever in the driveway and then they'll drive the trucks and they'll drop a bunch i think what you guys don't understand is the suspension has to settle and the torsion bars the more you drive it the more they will loosen up and go lower well that's about it we uh, adjusted the right height so now the front is all squared up and the rear is all squared up the rear is about half an inch higher than the front but i like it like that i like a little bit of rake well i should say rake this way because i feel like mini trucks should have a little bit of a rake or any truck at least should be a little higher on the back but uh, anyways yeah it's all leveled up now it's all nice and comfortable i told my dad to go take it for a test drive and uh he said he feels a huge difference because before it was actually bottomed out sitting on the bump stop which like i had just mentioned it's about the same ride height but it was sitting on the bump stop now it's literally about a quarter of an inch to half of an inch higher than what it was but now it's actually riding on the torsion bars so it's should be more comfortable now and told him to take it for a test drive he said it is more comfortable hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully found it useful if you guys found it useful definitely leave me a comment down below uh letting me know that you guys found it useful i know i haven't been posting a lot of videos lately but uh i've been super busy figured i'd get a quick little video out for you guys something that'll hopefully help out all you static guys out there but uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one later guys